What's your day going? <laughs> it's rough. <laughs> An appointment there. Yeah. You want a dental appointment? <laughs> no, I'm good, I'm good. I'm scared of the dentist. It starts today or tomorrow? Tomorrow, we have some appointments today. Oh. <laughs> So Couple cleaning. <laughs> easy day today. Until Saturday? Yeah, then the doctors <laughs> You've been so entertaining today. <laughs> and I haven't oh, I've missed day. a lot of it. I wish I filmed you all day. Oh I should God. have a Gemma so cam. Have a GoPro on. I should have. No. But that plane, when they keep being like, just a couple minutes. I was like, are you kidding? This is the like, next couple minutes. I know, he's in a couple minutes for an My hour. My feet are fat. <laughs> okay, we are in Dallas. Why the just me and us? Gemma and two other people on our team. And oh. the drama we have faced today is unmatched. This is not going to plan. What? This is not going well at all. I'm gonna tell you everything that's happening. <laughs> so, first of all, we flew in very early this morning, luckily, so we got here okay. Everybody else on our team pretty much had their flight canceled <laughs> because Texas just like isn't built for any type of winter weather, so they cancel all their flights. So there isn't really many flights flying into Dallas. So, so many people on our team are stressed and sad because they're all excited to get here and they can't come today. So all day they've been trying to figure out a way to get here and now they have to fly to New York City, fly from New York City to Houston, drive four hours from Houston to Dallas and obviously that just takes up so much time of the trip that was gonna be fun. Um, and then also, there's ice everywhere. Okay, we have to go outside to get to our rooms and it is freezing, <laughs> freezing and there's ice all over the floors we have to walk up stone steps covered in ice like honestly i feel like we're playing the hunger games trying to get to our room i have two really big fears okay one of them is stairs i don't like i don't like stairs like they scare me i always hold a railing when i go up and down stairs and the other one is ice so it's honestly like satan's was like screw becca we're gonna give her icy stairs <laughs> i just like, we look like grandmas walking up the steps, like one foot at a time. No, like it's dangerous. Yeah, yes, stability. It's just been like, obviously our team has been through a lot in the past couple of years, and this is supposed to be a fun experience, and so far everything today has been terrible. <laughs> and it's also really hard to get around this place, so every time we've tried to go out today, oh, yeah. we've been stranded because it takes like 25 minutes for an Uber to come. If they come. If they come. And also, they canceled a couple times. We accidentally got into a car with a stranger that <laughs> <laughs> that drove us to Alta because I thought he was our Uber. When actually, I'm not even sure he was like all there. I think he was honestly under the influence. I thought he was our Uber driver. As the drive I was happening, was as, as the drive was happening, we were like, this is not going well. Something is wrong. <laughs> Oh, let's, see. let's talk to me. Hi, babe. Uh, Gemma or Becca? Yes. I need to show you something. What? We were vlogging. You're in the vlog. It's found the charger. It's the camera charger. Do you want to know where it was? Oh my god, my vlog camera charger! It's in <laughs> Canada! <laughs> Becca, it gets better. What was it? In the car. No! <laughs> Today, Dee, I was literally just telling the vlog how stressful and awful today has been. And then you call and you tell me that my vlog camera charger is in Canada. With I'll you. Keep, I'll keep it close to my heart. It's here for you when you get So this back. is going to be an iPhone vlog at some point, which I hate. Look, you made it! <laughs> now, can you tell me how you feel? I just can't. I know <laughs> Let's hear your story of the airport. Okay, so we were in the airport at security and I was in line for my little bin. Power was behind me and like five other people were behind me. And then this girl, <laughs> hey, there's like, this is a table. It's like this and then like this. I'm on this side, power's right there. This girl slides up with her bin and like shoves it right in between us. I was like, 
is happening. I look at Power, she looks at me. She's like, don't say anything. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, um, that's the end of the line. <laughs> She's like, no, this is the end of the line. Don't tell me where the end of the line is, bitch. <laughs> And then you had to really push your stuff in. They yes. were like, they got mad at you if it wasn't all the way in. So I went to the this thing, whatever. And then my stuff wasn't all the way in to the security thing. And then I had to go back. And the girl's like, you need to roll your suitcase in. <laughs> and then I let her go in front of me because I was scared, mostly, not being nice. I was like, Go ahead. <laughs> she's still yelling at me. This whole time she's yelling at me to everybody. <laughs> and then I let her go in front and then she didn't say anything, obviously. Like, no, thank you. And I was like, she obviously shouldn't have said anything again, but I was like, you're welcome. <laughs> and she walks through and then we don't see each other for a little bit. And then I go to like Trin, who else is there? You. Yeah. Maybe like, you. Oh, yeah. A bunch of them were just at the end and they like knew something happened but wanted to know what happened. So I was telling them the story. Oh, and no. then <laughs> the girl was right there. <laughs> it's like, oh, hi, He's still talking shit. <laughs> okay, it's time for an update. It is day two of us getting here. And I'm sorry I'm chewing. Wow, that's kinda gross. But these little tangy turtles from Trader Joe's, amazing. Okay, so as you know, a bunch of our team's having issues to get to Dallas and they've been through so much shit to get here. It's not just us, like every team is going through this, um, but it just feels like after everything we've been through, especially the Canadian teams, why? Why does this have to happen now? <laughs> I'm just so excited to see them and give them all big hugs and make them feel loved because it's been a really exhausting day, two days for them. And then tonight we're going to practice, probably a super light practice because obviously it's just been emotionally and physically draining. But we are very lucky because a lot of teams don't have their whole team here yet and I don't know if their whole team's ever going to get here. So this weekend is just going to be all about appreciating that we're together and that we get to do this. And hopefully it'll end in a win, but at this point, we don't even care. We just want to have fun. Okay, I'm going to call Ali because I brought the wrong thing to wear to practice. Hi. Hi, what's up? Just giving you a heads up. What is the matter? I'm just letting you You're know. You're the wrong sports bra? Yeah. <laughs> you better find a teammate who brought both. Both? Hi, yeah. <laughs> Say hi. Hi. I made it, guys. Everyone made it. We're on our way to practice. Happy spring is making on the lake. Way up north, packing on the golf. I don't know who we are. Believing I'm the greatest. Heart's breaking till I know I made it. Hey, guys. I'm here. How's it going? We're doing amazing and we're gonna kill it. Ain't that right? Period. I'm Rebecca Webster's number one fan, guys. <laughs> hey guys, it's Sophie from Nitro. Hi! I'm on love. I'm a fireball. We just got back from practice and it went really well, especially considering half our team is exhausted and has been traveling for two days straight. 
Um, and something really cute happened. I went to go put my shoes on before practice and I found this cute little note in my shoe from Dee. She's literally the cutest girlfriend in the entire world. I'm so lucky. Hi guys. <laughs> it is Look at Jonah's white tee. <laughs> it is Thursday. Oh, we are tired. Oh. Gemma has been very committed to whitening her teeth. She's been using like a special toothpaste and using like a pen five times a day. Yeah, and look, it's paying off. You want me to, I'll show you. I will say the vlog makes your teeth look more white than they actually are. Yeah, I know, I know, but we'll, we'll take it. This is the toothpaste if anybody wants it. It's a moon teeth whitening pen. It's the Kendall Jenner one. My lashes look messed up. So, yep, it's worked wonders because they were yellow before. And now I'm going to be the brightest star on the floor. But, excuse <laughs> me. <laughs> I'm going to be the biggest star on the floor. I start in the back center behind everybody. <laughs> oh. If anyone can find me in a video at the beginning of the routine, I will give them $100. <laughs> I stand She's by. literally in... The I center could, behind every single human on the floor. I could not be more back unless I was a freaking spotter. But I do love it. Even the spotters at Worlds are closer. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> also, update. Um, Becca found someone else's Judas Falls bra, so Ellie didn't kick her out of the oh, practice yeah. gym. So. But I had to call her to make it like a soft launch. So she shouldn't be mad when she saw me when I showed up. You'll see that previously in the vlog. <laughs> <laughs> The white tooth saga's back. <laughs> they look really white in this. Gemma, smile. Wow. Oh, wow. White okay. teeth check. <laughs> like, our teeth look so white. <laughs> we have our GDM photo shoot today that we do every single year. Um, and it's actually colder here than it is in Canada, so I'm not excited to stand in my uniform in the freezing cold. But it'll be fun. And then we're gonna go to the venue, and then we're gonna have practice, and then we're gonna have a showcase. Oh my god, my, my camera's dying. This is gonna be a nice oh, vlog. iPhone vlog. It's very cold. <laughs> so cold. <laughs> They're currently trying to sneak into the arena again. Oh yeah, the door's opened. I don't even think you come in front of the screen, you go right there. Oh. oh, nice. <laughs> it fits. <laughs> Too many. <laughs> and you should stay. Okay. It was his idea to do this. <gasps> oh, oh my god! god. <laughs> That's so cute! I, I thought you had another puppy. I did too. <laughs> <laughs> is it a hoodie? It is. It's a hoodie. Yeah, it's a hoodie. Levi, come here. Oh my god. Come here. Levi, <laughs> Down, down. Show off your sweat. <laughs> hey, I'm back. <laughs> Number three. How are the teeth? <laughs> the teeth is still white. <laughs> Okay, all ready for day two. Feeling lots of good vibes. Gemma's shoe is breaking. It's breaking? Yeah. Okay. 
<laughs> Holding on by a thread, guys. <laughs> For the two of us. Plus, I gotta keep enough lettuce to support your shoe fetish lifestyle. So rich and famous, Robin Lee to get jealous. Half a million for the school. Take a trip from here to home. So if you ain't got no money, take your broke ass home. We did not hit. I don't know what to say. You can say, you did amazing. Are you proud of mom? You're so proud of mom. I just don't know how to end it. Like, I feel like I made a movie and now there's no, end. there's no happy ending. I'm very proud of you. I'm proud of us too. I just like, I don't know, I feel. Unfinished. I do feel unfinished, yeah. That's okay. So, update. I'm home from NCA. We came third, and it was the first time we had one NCA in six years, I think. Um, I'm honestly really proud of my team. It was definitely like a an emotional roller coaster because I don't know. I think we kind of naively went into the weekend like thinking it would be the same as other years when we have the same amount of practice, when we're more prepared, um, we're basically like ready to win and this year circumstances were way different and we didn't hit either day um i definitely think we landed in the placement that we deserved as a team i i'm actually really proud that we even podiumed with the lack of practice that we did have but the teams that came first and second had beautiful runs and the routines are awesome and they definitely deserved what they got um but yeah i don't know it was weird it felt a little different this year like usually losing would really sit with me and I would cry about it for weeks probably because I'm really competitive and I don't know, I don't deal with losing very well. Um, but yeah, I just feel different and I feel a lot more mature when it comes to losing. Like obviously I would like to win the rest of our competitions this year, but I don't know, I think I have a way different perspective and I think it's like important to share that because you're not always gonna win. I just like am so thankful that we got to do that as a team. We haven't had any big event in years and NCA is my favorite event so I was just like team happy to be there. I will say a big win for me this weekend was when we ran out onto the floor day one. I kind of expected no one to cheer for us. I don't know. like. I just feel like because it's been so long since people have seen us, the hype is kind of gone. And I just like, I don't know, I didn't feel like we were as loved. And then we ran on and it was one of the loudest G-Dub crowds I've ever heard. Like almost as loud as the year that Cheer Squad came out. And I was just like overwhelmed with emotions and I was so happy and so thankful to be there. And yeah, so if you're watching this and you're in that crowd, thank you so much because it literally made my whole weekend. And if you watched it live, like you would have seen me like put my hands over my mouth because I actually couldn't believe it. And yeah, that made me feel like I won.